guys, William here, KO4DBP, Kilo Oscar 4, Delta Bravo Papa. And today we're going to be updating the FT5DR handheld to the latest firmware that just came out a few days ago and doing a backup and restore from SD card. The things you're going to need you're going to need the power adapter, the USB cable, an SD card, or if you don't have an SD card, you can do it via the PC. To do a backup, need information on that, we'll have a video linked in the card above or in the description. First thing you want to do is grab your radio, take the battery out, make sure you have your DC power cable, as it shows here in the picture, and the USB cable. If you don't happen to have the, the one that came with the radio, any USB mini cable that's uh, just a straight through cable will work. Then what you want to do, you want to go over here to the Yesu website, click the FT5, Click on Files, and go down here to the bottom. And you're going to see an update file here. It's going to have the, the Europe version and the U.S. version. I'm in the U.S., so I downloaded the U.S. version. You want to download that, and then you want to extract it. You're going to have a PDF and two folders. Open the main folder, and you're going to have a Yesu program here to run. You're going to click that. It's going to open up. You're going to get this screen. The next step is to click in the bottom left where it says USB driver install. Once you click that, click install, and it's going to install a few things on your computer. Just uh, you see it's going through the install now. Just continue the install like you would. Uh, it's going to ask you for Microsoft Visual Basic install. Go through that install, and when it, uh, when it finishes, you'll be back at the update screen. This may take a few minutes, so allow it to do its thing. Now you want to refer to your radio in this PDF. Inside the, where the USB port is, there's a tiny little switch. You want to flip that switch to up. I would suggest using a sewing needle, a bobby pin. I mean, it's very, very small. Then you're going to plug in your USB cable. Then you're going to plug in the AC power with the battery removed. Come back to your Yesu software here, and you're going to click Next. Make sure to verify that you've done the steps correctly. So remove the battery pack, flipping the switch, plugging in the radio, and then at last plugging in the power. When you're ready, click OK to begin. Clicking OK, and if you follow the steps correctly, you should see one USB device located. Go ahead and hit OK, and the update process will start. It takes about one minute. And it has completed. Press OK. And then we can exit. After clicking exit, make sure to unplug the power and USB from the radio. And go back to your firmware folder for the update. And we're going to click on sub. And make sure before you open it, Flip the switch by the USB port to the down position, and then run the sub software. There is no need to click the USB driver install, because we've already done that. At this point, you will want to click update, and follow, and just verify your instructions, and plug in your AC power. Then click OK. Again, you will see, if everything was correct, you should see one USB device detected. Click OK, and the update should begin. This update takes about two minutes.
Okay, the update should finish. Click OK. And then exit. Unplug the USB and the power. All the cables from the radio and move the USB switch to the center position. Reinstall the battery. Do not turn on the radio. We will now perform a hard reset of the radio. Hold down the menu, the AB, and the band button and turn on the radio. And it should ask you to reset. Press OK. And then you can continue there to do your to restore your radio from your backup files. I hope this has been helpful. If you found it helpful, please click the like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And visit us at our website at www.shadowtronics.org. Thanks. 73 KO4 DVP.